Hello, this is Hellbent, and welcome to the third part in a mini series where I'm going to be where I'm showing you how to run programs using AutoHotKey, how to close programs using AutoHotKey, and in this last one, I'm actually going to show you how to take these two, four different hotkeys, and I'm going to combine them and make it only two hotkeys. So a single hotkey is going to open and close a window or application. So now that we're going to be doing that, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this, but I'm going to keep it there because I'm going to to make it a little bit faster. I'm actually going to copy and paste because I'm a slow typer. So I'm going to press highlight it and press Control Q if you have this script editor. Some other ed editors will allow you to do the same thing, but uh, if you're just using Notepad, which you which is you can for the like first year of scripting, I I only did Notepad. To do all my scripts so you don't need a fancy editor like this you can do it all in notepad okay so let's see um let's just do number pad one and number pad two so i'm going to do once again i'm going to do control plus number pad and the reason why i'm doing control is because if you still want to have operation with your number pad and actually be able to type out the numbers you need to have a a something else with your with your hotkey in other words when I every time I hit number one on my number pad it's just gonna execute this uh, hotkey it's not actually gonna type out the number one so number pad one is my hotkey and once again I'm gonna do number pad two numpad two is my next hotkey alright so what we want to do is we want to both run and exit our programs. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to come in here and we're going to say the order of this is pretty important because if we do it backwards, what's going to end up happening is, so what we're going to check is to see if a window doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, we want to create an instance of it. And then in the second part, we want to see if it does exist and if it does exist we want to close it if we reverse those orders what we'd end up doing is as soon as we closed it we'd end up opening it right back up again so the order of this is pretty important we could do an else but because i want to make sure that you know the commands i'm going to include both of the commands rather than just do an else for the second part so the first thing is we're going to type in if when not exist okay if window does not exist comma and now we need some information and the information we're going to use is the same thing that we used for our win close so the first one we had is the paint.net so this is the paint.net one so we're going to use this and we are going to control C that and paste it in and because we're only going to have one line underneath this, we don't actually have to enclose this next part in curly braces or French braces. Um, but let's say that you do want to have more than one line for whatever reason. I don't know why. But So I'm going to include curly braces just so that way it's, it's there. It's not going to change anything, but it, maybe it'll make it more readable for you down the road. I don't know. But uh, we're going to do that anyways. So if it doesn't, if this window doesn't exist, or what we're going to do is we're going to create an instance of it, or we're going to run that particular program. So we're going to take our run program line, we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it in here. Okay. Next, under that, what we're going to do is we're going to say if window does exist, if window exists, there we go. And we're going to use the same window again, or the same information, control C, and we're going to paste it in. Now, like I said, you don't have to actually do this. An else statement would work, but that you could have a use for this line here. So I'm including it just because it's slight, it's not exactly, you know, night and day between the two of them, but it is different, and there is uses that you could use this on its own. So I'm going to include it like this rather than using an else statement. Um, or Okay, so we have that. If it does exist, what we want it to do is actually close 
that program. So we're going to go back up to our win close and we're going to copy that line. We're going to paste it in and after all of that we're going to put in a return. Okay, so if we hit control plus number pad one, it's going to check to see if a window exists and this is the window that it's checking for. If it doesn't exist, it's going to run that program. If that window does exist, it's going to close that program. Okay, so this is how we've combined two hotkeys into one and it'll do both of those. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat the same process for our Internet Explorer. So if window does not exist, if win not exist, if win not exist, and then we're going to take our information, which one was it? This one right here. So we need our class and our process. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it in here. So this is what it's checking to see if it exists or not. And once again, I'm going to add in curly braces or French braces just because. We don't actually need them because we're only going to be having one line of code after that if statement. And we need, so if it doesn't exist, we want it to run the program. So let's find our Internet Explorer. Run. And I'll paste that in there. And next, if it does exist, if window exist comma and then we need that same piece two pieces of information our class and our process and then we'll drop down a line and add in our braces and we need our close our window close line with our two pieces of information Okay, that's done. Let's add in our return. And let me see that we have everything going. Okay, so we've commented out all our, before we had four hotkeys to do this. Now we're going to have just two hotkeys to do it. Okay, so we're going to save. We're going to run. And if I look here, I can see that it's running. I'm going to open up my task manager. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit number pad 1, which is going to open up my, my uh, paint.net. So control plus number pad 1 should open up paint.net. There we go. And if I hit control plus 1 again, it should close it. And there we go. Okay. If I hit control plus number pad 2, it'll open up Internet Explorer. And I'll put this up anyways. And then if I hit control plus number pad 2 again, it'll close it. And there you go. So that's how you combine both opening, running, and exiting a program using hotkeys in AutoHotkey. If you like this tutorial and you would like to see more of these kind of tutorials, be sure to hit that like button. Um, and I will see you on the next tutorial whenever that comes. Have a good day.